Hi, it's Ray Lampy, Dr. Barbecue. You know, all the rage in the barbecue world on the internet these days is queso, so I figured why don't we make a Dizzy Pig version of the queso? So here it is. The ingredients I'm using, a lot of the standard stuff. One pound of Velveeta cubed up. This is one pound of Swiss cheese, because I like Swiss cheese. Three Roma tomatoes chopped up. We're not gonna use canned stuff if we can help it. We like to use fresh stuff, just like our seasonings. This is a whole bunch of green onions sliced real thin. This is a half a pound of ground sirloin, and I browned it off in the kitchen. This is a can of green chilies, a seven ounce can, a bigger, a little bit bigger one, not the little tiny ones. We can't always get fresh green chilies. If you can get them, use them for sure. I had to use canned today. And then I've got a great big jalapeno. Two jalapenos would be normal, but I had to one of them giant ones. Now I need some seasoning. Of course, we're Dizzy Pig, so I got two excellent seasonings. I don't want anything sweet for this, so I'm gonna go with the cowlick, which is our beef brisket steak rub. Good one, very peppery. I'm gonna say that was about two tablespoons. And then I'm also gonna go with the fajita-ish. Fajita-ish is a fajita kind of uh, seasoning, also good on beef, also no sugar. I don't really want sugar in my queso. So probably about the same. I want a pretty good hit of seasoning, and I didn't use sausage, I used ground beef because I knew I had the good seasonings. And that's it, it may need some salt and pepper later, but I doubt it, we'll taste it later. What I'm gonna do now is put it in the, in the grill at indirect at 250, I'm gonna check it and stir it every half hour. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take. My guess is about a, an hour and a half. After an hour though, I'm gonna stir in this uh, cilantro. It was a bunch of cilantro. I left the big stems behind, but I chopped up the rest of it. It was kind of a wimpy bunch, but whatever. I like cilantro. If you don't like it, put a little less, or you could skip this completely if you want. You, you know, the idea is make it what you want. This is a pretty good combo though. So I'm gonna put it in here for 250. At 250, I put one piece of cherry wood and I'm gonna check it every half hour. My queso is done. It took about two hours at 250. You wanna make sure once the cheese is melted and it's all blended together, you still gotta cook it a little bit to make sure all that vegetable stuff gets cooked in there. And it gives it some nice barbecue flavor. This looks great. That get a little bit of grease kind of rises to the top. Don't worry about that, just mix it up. I like to serve mine with some different things. These are pork rinds, nice for the keto crowd. These are buffalo turds, jalapeno wrapped in bacon. Instead of putting any cheese inside, I put a piece of ham inside, because obviously we have some cheese. These are just boiled shrimp. You could use grilled shrimp as well. Those are gonna go great with the queso. And these are takis. This is like a rolled up tortilla chip, kind of a cool thing, a little bit different. You know, serve it whatever you want, but I like to try different things. So this is my Dizzy Pig queso. Got the fajita-ish and the cowlick in there. I think it's terrific. I think you're gonna like it. Check out this recipe and a lot of others at dizzypigbbq.com.